Hey birds, my name is Glove Wings, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we uh, we finished off the rest of the dungeon, or the rest of the temple, and in this episode, we're going to be taking on the boss, Volvagia, or the dragon, so let's go ahead and do that. But actually, before we do that, we're going to go ahead and get a few things, or we're going to go ahead, yeah, a few things, kind of, or at least one thing. Actually, before we do that, I'm actually going to heal up right now, just so that, um, just so that we have enough. There we go. Just so we have enough at the very beginning. But we are going to be grabbing some stray fairies, because as earlier, uh, in earlier, or in an earlier episode of the dungeon, or I mean, of the temple. Goodness, I always get those two confused. Ah! But yeah. As I was showing, uh, earlier in this temple... Uh, there are some stray fairies that you can get, and I thought that was another room that you could get to before, but never mind. Uh, it wasn't, so nonetheless, let's go ahead and get up here, and we're going to be collecting some stray fairies with the bottles. So, one, oops, oop, okay, there we go, there we go, so, there we go, so, caught a stray fairy, and let's catch... Okay. Come on. Oh, there's only two stray fairies here. All right. All right. So two stray fairies. So that'll be good enough because you know for this boss fight we're probably going to need it. So anyway, let's continue on over that way. Jump across. A jump across. And we have the Megaton Hammer ready to go, so let's go ahead and take on the boss. Alright, we are finally here. Good stuff. Alright, Evolvagia, Mr. Dragon Man, show your face. Show yourself, Mr. Volvagia. There you are. Hi, Mr. Dragon. Alright, so let's see here. So I'm just gonna wait here. So he's got three phases. The first phase is him appearing like this, where you just attack him like that. Um, that is not what I meant to do at all, but all right. All right, so now I'm actually going to jump off to the side here. And I'm just going to wait here because he won't really be able to get us uh, if we wait. So we're going to go like that. And now we're just going to wait for him to appear here. Oh crap. Come! Alright, whatever. Oh wait. Crap! That did a whole bunch of damage. Come on. There. Finally, I got a hit on him. Good. Okay. Yeah, we can basically just kind of hide here, essentially, which is really nice. And then he won't really be able to do anything to us. So that's always fun. Yeah, with these boulders, they only hit the ground surface. So if we just hide here, we won't really be able to be hit by his attacks here, which is really nice if you think about it. There we go. Finally got a jump attack on him. For once. Good. We are almost dead. I hope we don't die. <laughs> That's all I can say. Alright, so now we just gotta wait. Alright. 
And this is why we have stray fairies. The leg is real. Okay, anyway. Crap. Whoops. So we're just gonna wait here. Just gonna wait for him to go back into his hidey hole. Alright, there we go. And yeah. Alright, there we go. Go back down. Wait for him to do his thing. And it just skips the phase altogether. So if you want a faster way to skip that phase, that's how you do it. Alright. I wasn't quick enough that time. Alright. We got this, guys. We can do this. Alright. Where is he going to appear next? Oh, wait. There we go, we got him! Yay! We defeated him. Cause we're cool. And we did it. And we did the thing. Yay! We did it! We didn't even really have to use jump attacks. We only did it once. Alrighty. Nice. Nice suit. Alright, and now what this will turn into, this head will turn into our next heart container. So, now we have another heart container. Good stuff. So, let's go see the sage. The sage of fire. And yeah, that's been the boss fight. So, that was fun. Oh, <laughs> goodness. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. We, we did it. We did it. We purified it. We are back to the Chamber of Sages. Good stuff. All right, now we got the Sage of Fire, which is happily Darunia. All right, well, that was awesome. Yeah, the boss compared to like the rest of the temple, the temple was like the heavy lifting. That was like the most of the heavy lifting. The boss was like nothing essentially. So yeah, I don't know. Like it seems like it's always the temples are the hardest, but the boss is always the easiest until you get to like Ganon and stuff. Although I kind of found Ganon to be pretty easy come to think of it. So, you know, anyway, let's read through this. You are a real man now. <laughs> the wild Darunia. <laughs> well, he gets pretty wild, bro. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Alrighty, sounds good. Take the medallion, contains the power of fire spirits and my friendship. With the power of friendship. Anyway. <laughs> Yay, we got the medallion. Cool. We protect. We pay respect. We get the medallion. That's yeah, his power to yours, as usual. 
Every sage just adds their power to yours. Don't forget, you and I are now true brothers. I kind of mismatch those sentences there, but I don't really care. Anyway. <laughs> Alrighty. We are back to Death Mountain Crater. Alrighty, so that's been the episode, guys. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to save before we forget. And yeah. That was a hard temple. That was actually a really hard temple, but the next temple I'm dreading, but I believe we can do it. The water temple is marked as the hardest temple in the entire or er, er, in Zelda history. But I believe we can do it, guys. I'm dreading it, but I think we can do it. Most importantly. So, yeah, without further ado, I'm just going to end the episode here. So, next episode, we are going to be either doing one of two things uh, for the next few episodes. Either we're going to be doing some side questing, or we're just going to be heading directly to the Water Temple and getting a head start on it, just getting it out of the way. But I think I want to do some side questing. I'm still not sure, so we might be doing one of those two things. So, expect either just directly Water Temple stuff uh, for the next few episodes. Um, or we're just going to be doing some side questing to take a break from the temple grind and then we'll be heading over to the water temple. Uh, I'm going to be, again, looking up quite a bit of information since this is kind of like my first official let's play of this game. Where I'm going to be looking up quite a bit of information on how to do things and whatnot for the water temple. Water temple is probably going to confuse the heck out of me, but we're going to be probably doing some side questing in the middle, I'm guessing. But uh, I'm not sure. We're going to be doing one of those two things, so expect one of those two things for the next few episodes. Because there are some essential things I want to get. For example, I want to get Feora's Wind. Uh, I want to get Din's Fire, because those all feel pretty necessary that I didn't get when I was uh, a child. But, uh, oh well, we can go back and get it now. So, either way, guys, that's it for my monologue. So, I'm just going to end the episode here. So, as always, guys, if you like the video... Hit it like a window. Play hard, take flight, glib wings out. Racist. Equality. Perspective.